back to AI Assembled. I'm Chris Daly. I'm your host, your curator. But let's get to the AI news. All right, everyone, welcome to the show, where we get our hands dirty in the latest AI news. And this week, oh boy, have we got a lot to unpack. Funding rounds that sound like they belong in a sci-fi flick, new products that seem almost too good to be true. And that's not even touching on the medical breakthroughs happening. It's like every day AI is making headlines in a new field. It really is something else. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's lay it all out on the table. This deep dive, we're tackling the biggest AI stories of the week, and more importantly, what they mean for you, especially if you're a small business owner trying to navigate this crazy new world. That's our bread and butter here, cutting through the noise and figuring out the real world implications. Because let's be honest, you don't have time to become an AI expert overnight, right? Right. you got a business to run. So let's dive into our first headline. Uh, This one's a doozy. A company called Anthropic just raked in a whopping $2 billion in funding. $2 billion. That's not chump change. I mean, that's a serious vote of confidence. Yeah. And it's all for this thing they're calling constitutional AI, Mm -hmm. which honestly sounds like something straight out of Star Trek. Okay, Star Trek might be pushing it, but it is a fascinating concept. See, most AI development right now is focused on making these systems more powerful, smarter, faster. Which, don't get me wrong, is amazing in its own right. Totally. But Anthropic is asking a different question. What if we focused on making AI inherently aligned with human values, like baked in from the ground up? So it's less about can we do this and more about should we do this? Exactly. And if you're a small business owner, think about it like this. You wouldn't hire someone without some core values in place, right? Mm. Honesty, integrity, that sort of thing. Of course not. That's how you avoid ending up on one of those nightmare employee stories. Exactly. And in a way, AI is becoming like a new kind of employee. So this idea of building in ethical guardrails, that's huge. That could mean AI tools that are designed to be fair, transparent, accountable. All those things that are sometimes, let's be honest, lacking in the business world in general. Unfortunately, yeah. But the point is, This funding news from Anthropic, it's not just about one company. It shows a growing awareness that we need to figure out this ethics thing before AI becomes too powerful. And before we move on from this whole putting AI to work idea, can we talk about Microsoft for a sec? Because they are going all in. Oh, yeah. They are not messing around. Did you see this co-pilot thing they're rolling out? Basically, it's like having an AI assistant in every single piece of their office software. I know, right? I was reading about this earlier. Imagine spreadsheets that analyze themselves, presentations that practically design themselves. Email replies that write themselves. It's kind of mind-blowing when you actually stop and think about it. And here's the thing. This isn't some far-off, pie-in-the-sky concept. This is available now. Right. And that's what I think is so exciting for small businesses especially. These tools have the potential to level the playing field in a big way. No longer do you need a massive budget to access this kind of advanced technology. It's like having a whole team of experts on call. 247 without the massive overhead. That's the promise, at least. And look, I know it can be a little scary, this whole AI thing, but honestly, I'm more excited than anything. The potential here is just enormous. I'm with you on that. But hold on, before we get too carried away singing Microsoft's praises, we got to talk about Google <laughs> because they're not just going to sit back and let Microsoft run the show, right? Oh, absolutely not. It's like watching a heavyweight boxing match. This week, Google's DeepMind threw a serious punchback with their latest release, Gemini 1.5. And this one, it's all about reasoning. I'll be honest, the first time I heard Gemini, I immediately thought space mission. But this is way cooler. Way cooler. See, most AI models, they're great at mimicking human language. They can write you a poem, translate languages, even code for you. But understanding, that's the next frontier. And that's what Gemini 1.5 is supposed to be doing, like actually thinking. That's the claim. And early results are promising. We're talking about AI that can not only process massive amounts of data, but also understand the relationships between those data points. Think about it. Analyzing market trends, predicting customer behavior. Diagnosing diseases. Bingo. This is where it gets really interesting, especially in fields like healthcare, where AI is already making incredible strides. This story about in silico medicine just blew me away. They used AI to develop a potential new treatment for a serious lung disease in record time. Okay, that's amazing. But what does that mean for the average person, for someone running a small business? Well, for starters, it means that the future of healthcare could look radically different. Faster drug development, more personalized treatments, potentially even preventing diseases before they even arise. All of that would have a ripple effect. 
healthier employees, lower health care costs. Right. And that's not even mentioning the potential applications in other fields. Imagine using this kind of AI to optimize your supply chain, personalize your marketing campaigns. The possibilities are kind of endless. Okay, last but definitely not least, we got to talk about the elephant in the room, cybersecurity. Because let's be real, with all these amazing technological advances... There's a whole new world of risks. Exactly. Data breaches, ransomware attacks. It feels like every day there's a new headline about some company getting hacked. It's a real concern, absolutely. But here's the good news. AI is also playing a huge role in the defense against cyber attacks. So it's not all doom and gloom. Not at all. In fact, a lot of experts believe that AI is the key to staying ahead of the bad guys. See, traditional security systems, they're reactive. They can only catch threats they've been programmed to recognize. But AI, it can learn and adapt in real time. So it's like having an AI bodyguard for your data constantly learning and evolving to stay one step ahead of the attackers. That's a great way to put it. And here's why this is particularly important for small businesses. You might not have the budget for a massive security team, but you can access these AI-powered security tools. It's like having a whole cybersecurity department at a fraction of the cost. Exactly. And as these technologies continue to develop, they're only going to get more affordable and accessible. So yeah, the threats are real, but there are also real solutions out there. All right, so we've covered a lot of ground here, from sci-fi-sounding funding rounds to AI that can practically read your mind. To AI that's helping us fight back against cyber attacks. It's a lot to wrap your head around, but hopefully this deep dive has given you some food for thought. The AI revolution is here, and it's not just for tech giants anymore. Absolutely. So as you go about your week, here's a question to ponder. How could you use these advancements to transform your business? Think about it. Because the possibilities really are endless. Please be sure to subscribe and like so that more people can hear the amazing stories that are happening each and every week in artificial intelligence. You can find out more about me and my offerings at FreshMediaWorks.com. Freshmediaworks.com.